This board here shines because of its big bezel aesthetic. All right, Paragon time. So this is Desk Hero's Paragon, okay? I haven't built this board. How long has it, when's the last time I built this? Like a year ago? It was about a year ago, I think. Two, was it two years at this point? I'm not even sure. I remember liking it. Uh, I remember it also being a bit spendy. Uh, Vala Supply and like, a whole, they did reach out and they actually, for the people in the United States, because it would just make more sense to buy from them. Plate, foams. Got a little PCB action going on here. I built it with a PC plate. I wonder how it's gonna sound with the aluminum. Cause I did actually go back and listen to my old sound test today and it was pretty nice. Oh God, this is gonna be so heavy. Cable in here, by the way, USB-C cable. And then I'll oh, get some screws and daughter board. Perfect, everything's in here. Perfect. Uh, ha having both plates, I like the PC plate with uh, more types of switches, but the Alu is good with Nixies and a couple of others. I hope the CJ switches are a good choice for today. Did you use plate foam on yours? I think they recommend it plate foam for it. Which kind of would make sense, I think, because the weight is on the outside of this board. God, I forgot how big this keyboard is. I remember when this came out, I was actually really excited to build this when it came out because it was something so, like it's just a nice simple board. And at the time I was really into like the looks of like the U80 and stuff like that. Should I mute myself? I think I am. This is probably gonna be loud. One second, guys. All right, we're good, we're good. No, it was too loud. Last time I, I like destroyed your guys' eardrums. I, I, I love, don't get me wrong, I love all e-white boards, but e-white boards also scare the living daylights out of me because they're just too clean looking. And I know that I'm gonna do, like I'm gonna put a thumbprint on this somewhere. I already know, bro. They're just too clean looking. How's the PVD on the production units here? That's not bad, there's no rippling or anything. That's really good. Some dust already settling on it though. Is it rippling? No, it's no, actually, actually no, it's pretty clean. No rippling that I can see. Looks pretty good to me. All right, little simple PCB. Hot swap sockets, 7U and 6.25U. Cool, a little bit of options. Oh, I have a question for you guys. Serious question about keyboard stuff. This is a, uh, I know I, I do like doing a lot of off topic stuff, but would it bother you guys? All right, if a, if a, a keyboard company is making a PCB, would you prefer having the option for 7U and 6.25U and then have the possibility, you know, like one's to be north, one's south. Um, have the possibility of using a switch that maybe doesn't play well, play, play, play well with one of the facing uh, of the sockets and then ends up being too close to the edge of the keyboard. Would that be a deal breaker? I, I, I kind of make the argument that I'd rather have to slightly deal with that on a hot swap keyboard in particular than having no option at all. That That's kind of my thing. 7U should not get a reverse switch. Okay, so Therax, Therax kind of on the opposite camp. I find space bars are all right with most switch orientations, to be honest. I feel the same way, but in the odd case, I guess the, the, um, the caveat here is in the odd case, would it bother you guys? And I think I do want to use the foam for this because I'm told the foam sounds really good with this. Let's just do foam today. Let's try the foam. All right, let's open this thing. Your feedback matters. Cool. Oh, I like this one. This is just samples. Cool, 3D, these are awesome, dude. So do you 3D print these? I love this one, hold on. 
I love this one, dude. This is super cool. Dude, you did a great job. Fuck, I really like this one. I'm actually gonna put this on my keyboard. I feel like this style, like this layout, would look really good in the gray too. This is Pog, these are really nice. The logo one, that's yeah, cool too, It's cool too. Actually, this would look really cool if you did this in the stone one too. And then this guy here. Oh, this is cool. I love the texture on these too, man. These are really cute. I'm in love with this one. This is my favorite one, dude. The texture feels really nice. It actually feels like stone. But it doesn't have that weightiness of like stone. Cool. I'm definitely going to put this on. We'll put this on today's build. You know, I'll put this in uh, the, the tray over here from Lowell Stacks. Very cool, man. Very cool. Good job. I don't exactly know what these are. I guess this is just like, uh, just in case it doesn't fit well or something. Very cool, dude. I wonder if it's, uh, it is stone-like. It is very stone-like, I would say. Again, it just doesn't have the weightiness of stone. So if you were more interested in like having the weight, it's not gonna be there. Link now. I don't have a link to 3D's website on hand, so 3D will have to do it. Very cool though, man. Very, very cool. Yeah, you can link it, bro. I appreciate sending those out so we can take a look. Use it with cherry stone? Oh, that would look really cool. Actually, I have a good idea for that. I have a really good idea. Very, very cool though, 3D. Guys, I don't know why I'm so nervous handling this keyboard today. <laughs> it's just, it's so fine looking. You can do the gas in the top four corners too, on the top uh, on the top of the bottom. Wait, what happened? Rudy, I'm confused by that. Am I just putting one, two, three, and four? And that's it? All on the bottom and then I do some on the top? Plus four on top, okay, sounds good. If I ever have the opportunity to redo my setup and start from scratch again, like if I ever end up moving out of here and I have that opportunity again, you guys bet your butt, I am gonna be getting a much bigger desk. I think even deeper as well, because I got the standard one that I normally always get from Ikea, you know, like that standard Ikea battle station. Um, so I'm definitely gonna go a bigger, bigger desk route next time. I don't, I don't know if I'm gonna do L shape. Like, what do you guys have? Do you guys have L shaped desks? I just want something a bit deeper and then I want something long, like wider. Uh, I think mine's 35, yeah. I think I would want like 45 or even longer, maybe even like 50. Like I know it sounds crazy, but I wouldn't mind that. Two desks in an L? I had the L-shaped desk for a hot minute on my old, old, old setup. I, I remember finding it kind of constricting, but I mean, also it was a small room, so. Long and wide, that's how you like it. God damn, dude. Just get a square desk. <laughs> I hated L-shape um, and sold it after three months. Wait, why did you hate it? Do you also feel like very constricted in it? You know what else is crazy though? I also learned that I don't like having my desk up against a wall. I like about a foot of space away from the wall because it makes me feel like the room's bigger, even though it makes the room technically a little bit smaller and it allows me to keep some of my lights and stuff like behind the desk nicer. That's what I've learned about myself too. It, it just feels nicer to have like a even half a foot of space behind the desk to play with. Weirdo. Thanks, Adam. Oh, it's a pleasure. And then Rudy, you said one, two, three, and four. Uh, makes it easier to hook up stuff too. Yes. All bottom, top four. Four top, holy shit, 50 centimeters is super deep. 50 inches, is, I know, it's, it's definitely bigger, yeah. But you know what? The reason I would want that is because I do a lot of stuff on my desk. 
and I wouldn't mind having some extra width so I can keep stuff away from me and not have to stress out too much about losing some of my real estate on my desk. You know what I mean? I feel like I'm crazy right now. A deep desk is all you need. My chair felt stuck in L shape. Dude, I agree. My, like, I just felt constricted. My chair always felt like it was in the wrong spot with L. That's why I've gotten a second desk. Oh, hi, Soren. I don't think I said hi to you. How you doing? My chair feels stuck sometimes, but I like resting my arm on my desk playing FPS games. Yeah, I do too. I I'm actually big on that. I always adjust my, uh, my chair for that. All right, these are done. Let's put this in. I am not gonna use the bottom case foam. We did use the mid plate foam. Oh God, the plate foam. Got the hiccups. Just want a crazy game of PUBG. I forgot you still play that, dude. I'm actually kind of jealous you still play that. I don't have the willpower to play that anymore. PUBG though, was my favorite game. Like, I don't think I've had more fun in a battle royale than I've, I've had playing PUBG. There was something special about that battle royale. Truly, truly something special. Same Alex. Dude, it, it just felt different. Like everything about it felt more fun. I think it's because it almost wasn't as polished either. You know what I mean? Like it was kind of sloppy. The wasn't as close and nice. Hold on a sec. GMK Zen Pond. I finally get to look at this keycap set. Thank you, thank you, Vala, for sending this. Also, thank you, Desk Hero, because this is Desk Hero's build. So I get to build a board for Desk Hero. I love Desk Hero. Dude, I have to admit though, I know the, the plastic wrap is still on. These are pretty good. GMK, uh, the pad print on it is actually really fun. Like, that's solid looking. Do I do accent or no? Actually, I'm not gonna do accent. All right, so let's take a look at the board again. So we did this one here for Mr. Deskiro. Deskiro is also the vendor for this board in Canada. Um, pretty simple side profile. It's just a wedge. This board here shines because of its big bezel aesthetic. You got the recessed USB-C, nice little choice there. The Ecoat's phenomenal on this. It also has like a really like, I don't know what, what it is. Most Ecoats have like a normal, like I don't know what to call it, just like a regular Ecoat texture. This feels a little bit more matted. And then we have the back over here. I keep forgetting what this is, what Skyline this is supposed to be. I'm sure it's a state in the United States, but you're asking the wrong person. I, I am not a, United States citizen, so. Bro, it's San Fran. I'm from Canada though, so I don't know. Golden Gate. <laughs> they don't teach us that stuff here. We used aluminum plate, uh, plate foam. Uh, we got GMK Zen Palm. We got the little 3D keycap on here. We did use plate foam. There's no bottom foam though, FYI guys. We did not put that in. If we really need it, I mean, we shouldn't. This does have a pretty sizable Exterior weight. Now it's not on the interior, so there could be some sound reflection on this, but let's see how this sounds. I'll give you guys a little HJ test. I like the way the CJ feel. These are nice. Ooh, I actually really like this. Love the backspace. I feel like I rarely love backspaces though. 
The enter's good, shift's good. Backspace is a little thin. Alphas are fantastic. The numbers are fantastic. Ooh, my, my stomach growling is not fantastic. Spacebar is good. Tab is one of my favorite keys on most keyboards, by the way. The backspace is okay. It just sounds flatter compared to everything else on the keyboard. I feel like that's kind of a consistent thing that I find on a lot of boards. It's very rare that I like, love a backspace. It's weird because I like both the shift and the enter a lot. Tab's like literally always one of my favorite keys. Yeah, for foam, this does not sound foamy. I will say that. Yeah, this is a pricey board, De definitely. I think they're running, I think um, Oak just put it. There's a 15% off that they gave us. Um, but uh, I know it is pricey. Uh, like I said, three times rule, you know, manage your finances well, guys. But definitely is. It's uh, about 500 something dollars, I think. Again, this is not really a review stream. This is just me building a client board for Desk Hero because he sent me his personal unit to build. Just so everyone's aware. We just so happen to Vala asked if they could run a discount code with us today. This makes me want to pick up some more CJ switches though. I have to admit, I really like these. The Paragon versus the Unicorn. This does sound really nice. Peace out everybody.